Hey, what's up everybody? Today I am super excited to be jamming along to the new Super Mario soundtrack, some of the fun tunes from the movie, using a very unique setup. The reason I'm doing that is Spitfire Audio sent me their new Abbey Road Orchestra high, low, and metal percussion sample libraries to check out. These libraries were recorded in Abbey Road Studios with the absolute highest level of production. That's like the most iconic, legendary studio on the planet and these things are fantastic so i wanted to do something really cool to show them to you guys my word is not the only word so i want you to listen and make your decision are these the best sample libraries on the planet check them out you can click the link in the description to check out abbey road orchestra spitfire audio and depending on your budget level they have stuff for everybody so there's other drum and sample libraries and there's these incredible abbey road orchestra sample percussion libraries as well so Follow them on socials, check out the website, check out all the sample libraries, and listen to these incredible drums. Stick around to the end to find out more about this setup, more about the samples. Let's have some fun. Alright everybody, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Some of the drumming in this really challenged me, took me outside of my box, and made me think differently. And that's something that I really, really love to do. It's the same thing with this setup here. I told you I'd tell you more about it. Um, the main reason I came up with this and came up with this concept and wanted to do these songs and wanted to like work it in is because these sample libraries uh, are really, really phenomenal and I wanted to find a really cool way to show them to you, to let you hear a lot of different sounds because at the end of the day, like a good sample library, a good percussion library has all these different percussive instruments recorded so well that you can adjust and manipulate and change these sounds and these Abbey Road Orchestra high-low and metal percussion libraries blew my mind. I mean, I, like, I spent hours just combing through the sounds and creating and choosing which ones I wanted for these different drums here and for the, dip, for the sample pad up here. I wanted to be able to trigger all sorts of stuff that worked well with a soundtrack 
And I thought, what kind of melodic soundtrack with all sorts of cool sounds would make sense? And that's where the Super Mario thing came in. It's also really relevant right now. Hopefully you've seen the movie. I'm, you know, I'm not getting paid to promote the movie, but uh, it was really fun. And I love Super Mario, so did my kids. So I took them to see it. And now uh, I had such a blast playing along to it. Um, let me tell you a little bit about this setup. So I have two different drum modules here. And uh, with a sample library like Abbey Road Orchestra, it is a VST, it is something that you plug into your computer, um, into your digital audio workstation. It works within that and you are actually able to trigger everything via MIDI. You can trigger it with um, like a MIDI controller or your keyboard. You can change parameters and stuff with your mouse on screen. I'll show you some of that um, on the actual video here so that you can see what I'm talking about, the interface of it. It just works directly in your digital audio workstation. And so um, I downloaded the samples. Um, they're huge, huge sample libraries because they're done really well. They have the highest level of production to them. And so uh, I think all three libraries are like 350 gigs or something like that, which um, just tells you right away that it's it's full, it's packed, it has like everything you can really imagine. And what's really cool about it is that um, they really hit these out of the park because you have not only different instruments, but you have different techniques, you have different uh, sticks, different mallets, different things hitting these drums so that you get a right hand technique and a left hand technique and a roll technique and a brush and a root and a felt mallet and a medium felt mallet. Like it, the options are absolutely endless and uh, for me that was one of the hardest parts of this video was just going through and picking out exactly which sounds I wanted for the kit. Um, what's fun about this is that having high, low and metal allowed me to combine things like um, up here I have a break drum which I really really love that sound. I incorporated it quite a few times into the soundtrack there. Um, what blew me away is in the metal percussion, like cymbals are something that's really hard to like recreate in my opinion. A lot of times like electronic drums and things like that really just don't have good cymbals. But the cymbals on here, like this is uh, a German uh, crash cymbals. Uh, I forget the Pilidi or something. I can't, I can't remember the actual name that they have it listed in in the program. But when I was crashing between these crash cymbals and crashing on a real crash cymbal picked up by overhead microphones, uh, it, it blended so well because these are, are done so well. And so um, you can hear them here. Like they, they actually sound like a real set of symbols, you know? And, and I know that like that's the very basics of what you should have in a great sample library. But so what I'm saying by that is the way that it blended in an acoustic environment with also triggers. I mean, I, I was so, so pleased. I could not get past all of the little pieces of the puzzle that you can use to manipulate the files and the sounds that are built into these percussion libraries. And I had so much fun playing on this kit because now all of a sudden I have Rototoms. Put an 18 Rototom on the kick just to kind of blend it together there. I've got Octobonds. So like you, you got Octobonds going into Rototoms and then I can switch it over here. And this is, they're called like epic toms. But they're just like, they're huge, they're massive. And one of the things that I did in this video was instead of using the built-in interface and triggering it via MIDI, I actually went through and sampled and grabbed and played and then uh, put them onto the drum uh, modules themselves. So this SPDSX Pro was loaded up with all sorts of different samples and I chose different patterns and different setups for different parts of the video. Same thing with the Mimic Pro over here. I had two different kits set up. Both of these uh, drum interfaces are just endless in the capabilities of what you can do with them. But I didn't have to manipulate the sounds at all. It wasn't like I did anything inside of either one of these to change the sounds. All of it came from the interface and I just plugged it in here to make it a little quicker for sampling things um, because I'm actually not someone who uses MIDI very often. Um, and so in this environment, I was really able to create a unique and interesting sound profile through all of those sounds. Um, I went through and showed, I mean, temple blocks. So I, I've got all these options at my fingertips 
through those percussion libraries and everything like it, it sounds so realistic it, it feels like you're in the room it feels like you're in Abbey Road Studios playing and listening to these drums now I guess <laughs> I, I can't say that from experience. I've never been in Abbey Road Studios playing drums before, but uh, I have heard stuff that's come out of there, the iconic studio, and uh, it sounds phenomenal. And the way that Spitfire has done this is just, um, it's, it's epic. I mean, and that's why I wanted to try to create uh, a video that is at least almost as epic as the samples themselves. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please click the link in the description, go check out Spitfire Audio, go check out Abbey Road Orchestra, and uh, see what you think. Uh, I'm very excited to show this to you guys. I'm gonna do another video at some point where I kind of go in depth a little bit more about how to use the samples. Um, today's video is, was kind of more about showing you them and introducing them to you because they just launched. So please click that link in the description, go check out Spitfire Audio, go check out the Abbey Road uh, Orchestra. Um, sample libraries and like I said earlier they have different budget levels and different options out there so um, if the Abbey Road stuff is a little bit out of your price range for getting into the sample world or you know trying something out or you're not necessarily like hey I'm not doing this full-time yet so let me try something a little bit at a lower budget level then they have that stuff too and Spitfire Audio is world-renowned with the best feedback because they do things right and they create incredible sample libraries for you guys. So check it out. Uh, I'm going to play a little more for you so you can hear it without any music. Uh, I'm going to do a little drum solo-y kind of thing here, play on this kit, have some fun with rototoms and octobonds and piccolo snares and temple blocks. And uh, this is a trash can. That's the side of a trash can. And one of the things that I did on this kit is if they didn't have the exact size drum I was looking for they have a little tune button and or tune knob and so like you, the epic toms come in 16 and 18 but I wanted a 14 and a 12 so I just tuned them up and like it, it just it just works thank you so much for watching have a great night play some drums trigger some amazing samples let's go